Hi, I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. I'm doing a quick review on a Google Plus Comments plugin for WordPress blogs. I found out about this one from my mate Chris Lang, who is probably one of the best Google Plus authorities online at the moment. This plugin was made by Alex Moss, and you can find both of their Google Plus profiles in this blog post. I think there are significant advantages by using Google Plus in your comments and that's why I've now added it to the Learn How to Blog site. One of the greatest advantages is because it's Google. Because Google, they want to dominate the world, let's face it, so therefore they want to control the social media. I think they're doing a good job. They've failed a few times, but you know what, they'll just throw a few more dollars at it and eventually they get there. Well, I think with Google Plus they've done it. So effectively what we want to do here is install the plugin, which is very easy of course, and then we're going to have these Google Plus comments available down the bottom. Let's have a look at another blog post, and if we scroll down to the comments, as you can see here, we have got the ability to have both WordPress comments and Google Plus comments, because at this stage, I feel like I want to leave the WordPress comments in there. Now when you install this plugin, it will drop the Google Plus comments in up at the top and it will leave the WordPress comments down the bottom so you will still have them there. I just like the idea of coding this particular site so that they be side by side. Now you can see the comments here and this is what I really like about it and this is what caught my eye because as you can see when people are commenting here they are logged in with the Google Plus profile and when they leave a comment this comment can actually go on their Google Plus profile. But what is really good about it is that we can go in here and we can look at the comments and the ones we like, we can click plus one on. So we're actually giving them another vote in Google's social media tool. For instance, here's my friend John from the old dig days and I think he's got about 4,000 Google Plus followers. So when he leaves a comment on a site, well, that gets exposure on Google and a little bit more authority, if you like. So I can now go and click that, and now I've given his comment a plus one. I can reply to that comment, and I can drop this comment in here, and as I click reply on this comment, this will now publish to my timeline, and John might even get a notification of that too. But if I wanted someone else to get a notification, let's say like Chris Lang, for instance, I could just type his name in here as well, put the plus in and start typing his name. And I pick Chris Lang in, and now that has put him in there. And when I click reply, that would now send a notification to him that he has been mentioned. Now that's not necessarily relevant, so I'll just get rid of that out of there because I don't want to sort of be spammy but if you get the picture this Google Plus plugin becomes very interactive. Now people can come along to this comment thread and they can go and plus one comments as they like. Can you see how Google when they look at this they're seeing the interactiveness of the comment thread itself that would have to give you a real good advantage in the rankings. Now for those of you who need a hand putting the plugin onto your site, this is how it's done. It's very basic, but again, for those of you who need a hand doing it, you simply go into your dashboard of your WordPress blog and you click plugins. Up here you will see a link that says add new. And in the search you simply type in Google Plus comments. You click search plugins and now you'll find that currently there are some plugins that are more popular they've got more ratings and really what that is all about is probably just getting more of your mates around to give you a high rating and then you're going to be up there but in this case this is the one Google Plus comments and the way you know you got the right one simply look for Alex Moss's name in here by Alex Moss you know you got the right one then you would click this link that will say install now. In this case, I've already put it in. You simply click the install now link and follow the prompts. In the next screen, you'll be prompted to activate it once it's installed. Once it's activated, you can go to your settings. 
I'm going to click into the settings now and you will locate them under settings and you will find a Google Plus comments area. So in here you will find the basic settings. What I suggest you do, and they will probably be set for exactly what you need straight away. Leave this box ticked. Tick display settings on posts if you want to have comments on your blog posts. Probably leave it off on pages and homepage. Leave all the settings as normal. For instance, the width, leave it as default. Have a responsive comment box, so leave that ticked. And then a title that will go above your comments and you can customize that if you like. And then click Save Changes. Now on this particular site, Learn How to Blog, we have actually used the short code. So we've done a custom code ourselves and that's why we can have these comments side by side with WordPress and Google+. So there you go, a great plugin. I highly recommend it. We've only had it installed for a few days and we've already noticed a difference on the site. The interactivity in there and also some of the rankings, well, I think they may have improved. So it could be worth having the Google Plus Comments plugin on there. Please leave a comment below this post and let us know what you think. Choose WordPress or choose Google Plus and I'll be there and the team will be there. We look forward to chatting to you. I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. Thank you very much. Live life, have fun and enjoy.